2023, el año del mexicano. Y estoy rodeada de oro con Brandon Moreno, con Jair Rodríguez, en la semana más importante de la pelea. Chicos, es su International Fight Week. ¿Cómo están viviendo el ambiente? Yo en lo personal me siento calmado, pero siento esta vibra de, de, como de éxito, bien que dijo en el aire. Y la verdad es que me siento muy bien. ¿Y tú, Jair, cómo lo estás viviendo? Yo creo que Brandon lo acaba de expresar exactamente como es. O sea, me siento calmado, estoy tranquilo, pero a la vez me siento como muy seguro de, de las victorias que vamos a obtener este sábado. This of course is Pantoja, third time facing him, second official fight with him. Do, do you bring any of those memories into this fight? Man, I, I don't need to say nothing, man. I don't need to say I'm a different fighter or whatever because the people can see it. My footwork, my hands, my wrestling, my jiu-jitsu, just the mental part, you know? Ah, el tecatito corona. Qué chingón, está firmada, güey. Híjole, qué chingón. This feel like a special moment in your career, you know, representing the country as well. Yeah, it feels like a special moment. Of course, Brandon and I and the Mexican people and all the Mexican fighters fighting in this card, we have been working for this moment for a long time. Even though we are a team, we're a Mexican team, we are looking for our own uh, legacy. So. I'll probably have somebody helping me out to explain this better. This is a unique piece. Uh, the artist is Jacobo and Maria Angeles. They're from Oaxaca, Mexico. It's handmade. Dot by dot, line by line, it's handmade. It doesn't have a price tag on it because it's unique. I'm proud of having it here presented to you guys. <laughs> My mom is showing uh, a picture of myself here in Las Vegas. I always talk about that dream she had when uh, she was uh, pre uh, pregnant of me. And she had a dream that she always remember, you know, for so many years. She dreamed of me. <laughs> He's uh, been really successful in some way, but here in Las Vegas, you know, and, uh, and she just always speaks about that specific picture, you know, because he always uh, brings her the memory of that dream and uh, that she know, she knew since before I was born that I was going to do great things. Congratulations on winning the championship. When you guys look back at, at that performance and that result, how satisfied were you with the way you performed on the biggest stage of your career? I was, I was really happy. Uh, I told you, like, the fight is gonna go by submission or KO. Just what I was expected. And was it your expectation that this unification bout was gonna happen pretty quickly? No, this quick. Yeah. You know, I thought that it was going to be a little longer. Right. I was thinking probably Mexico City. Right. But it happened to be in July 8th here in Las Vegas and I'm ready. Well, we're back here at the Apex. The boys just sat in the sauna get a little bit of weight off, uh, nothing too serious, just to get used to the sauna and I'll rehydrate back up. Uh, it was good, the rest of the team's here, Izzy's just showed up with the rest of the boys, so we've got the full crew here, uh, the energy's high and yeah, things are moving good. Just touched down in Vegas, straight off the plane to the gym, but missed training because flights, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my own work in. Always cool to see you know, our side of the world, the, the Anzacs come over to this side of the world and take over. Two years in a row, International Fight Week. If you didn't know, now you know. Thank you, mate. Boys, <laughs> look at this. We're on the top of a double-decker bus. This is, this is a great way to see the Strip. This is a great way to see Vegas. It's beautiful. I really want to take the kids and just... Yeah, I like Vegas, and I want to bring the family back here. Hey, Brian! How's my eyebrows? Well, Robert Whitaker, we've just passed it, the T-Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC here in Las Vegas. How are you going to beat Drickus Stuplessy this weekend, then? I think I'm too fast for him. I think I'm too fast. I think my output's going to be too much. I think I hit too hard, and I just don't think he'll be able to keep up for the whole 15 minutes. And, uh... Once he starts to slow down, once I start to inflict some damage, um, it's just going to get worse for him. You're up. Thanks, brother. Uh, I appreciate you. Take it easy, man. You're a legend. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.
We're a couple days out from fight, so we're just kind of moving around. I was shedding the last couple of pounds before weigh-ins, and it's just about feeling good at this point. Training for the new point for the ball. We didn't change it too much. We're going to keep the same strategy. It's nothing to do anymore. Like It's too close to the fight to change anything. Now we just cut weight, and you're ready for anything. The biggest thing is just having a good foundation, a good base. If I can move forward, back, left, right after, out of either stance, and uh, so I feel good um, with my agility. Now I can just kind of adjust the game plan on the fly. At this point, the hay's in the barn, the work's been done, and I'm ready to scrap. from the fight capital of the world in Las Vegas, Nevada for UFC International Fight Week. Alexander the Great Volkanovski. What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming out today. Who's got the first question? Question for Robbie Lawler. Is there any message you want to tell the fans that are here in attendance? Well, just thanks for all your support. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time without the fans' support. I wouldn't be able to make a living doing this. Thanks to all the fans. Rob, you've made it clear you think it's unreasonable for people to discount Drikus and his abilities. He's clearly going to be more motivated for this fight than any before in his career. How dangerous can motivation be? Man who has nothing to lose, who's been counted out, who's young dog, would have to be one of the more dangerous things you can encounter. And uh, I understand the threat and the gravity he's bringing, and I, I'm treating it with the respect it deserves. Having nothing to lose, that's absolute BS. I have everything to lose. I have a goal to be the champion of the world, and Robert Whitaker is the next step in that ladder. But I believe I did everything I possibly could, and I know I'm ready. Val, you have a massive opportunity to play spoiler this Saturday. What does it take for you to defeat someone like Bo Nickel? This is not my first rodeo. Um, I'm going to go in there and fight this guy. You know, I feel like I'm a better fighter. You just, you guys don't know me yet, but you guys will on Saturday. I'm just glad you take the fight, man. So appreciate you. It means a lot to me because I put a you know, long camp in and thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Let's have a war, bro. Let's go. I don't know about a war, but uh, something's going to happen. Damn, I can't wait for Saturday night. Let's go! Brandon and Yair, can you guys put into words what it would mean to you to both of you win and defend your titles on Saturday? It's been years and years of working uh, on this dream, and we're changing, literally, the history of Mexico. I think this is a huge statement for the Mexican mixed martial arts. I'm just happy for my country. I'm happy for Latin America in general. Man, we are ready for the biggest stage in the mixed martial arts. Alex, what would you say is the biggest thing that you know now going into this fight that you didn't know going into your first championship fight? Just be me. Just do your thing, you know what I mean? It's a, just go with emotions. I'm uh, pretty experienced with it all now and just enjoy it. You know, enjoy the uh, International Fight Week, enjoy Vegas, uh, and enjoy the crack and fights that are going to happen this weekend. International Fight Week, we are pumped to put on a show for everybody, I guarantee you. Thank you guys for coming out today. We're going to square these guys off for some photo ops. We'll see you Saturday night. Let's go! Thank you. Thank you. 